Darwin on the Trail exploded on the scene of YouTube back in 2015 and it quickly became one of the fastest growing backpacking channels out there for through hikers and gear. But last year, Darwin abruptly quit YouTube. And then he came back a year later. In the time that he was gone, a lot happened in his life. And people were very upset that he left when he left YouTube. And they were also really upset when he came back as well, as well as people were, you know, excited and just very indifferent overall. So it was a really unique situation. By the way, Darwin's name isn't even Darwin. It's Nick. Nick Rakestraw. That's right, Nick Rakestraw. I flew all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona to talk to Nick and ask him all kinds of questions, everything that I wanted to know and hopefully you wanted to know and a whole lot more. You're probably thinking, Dan, you flew all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona. That is really expensive. Yes, it is. It's very expensive to do that. And the way we pay for it is by sponsors who sponsor this channel and allow us and give us the ability to do that. And our sponsor for this video is Onyx Backcountry. And if you want to be a supporter of this channel, if you've ever wanted to support what we do here that brings you the content that we can bring you, support our sponsors. Onyx is a navigation app that allows you to literally plan an entire backpacking trip from your phone. It works just like a GPS out in the backcountry, allowing you to navigate find water, find campsites, plan, see reviews, and be able to backpack with confidence out there on trail. All you've gotta do is click the link in the description below for 20% off their $30 membership, which brings the price down to like 23 bucks for the year. And now they have an elite plan, which allows you to see private and public lands. And that way, you know if you're camping in a legal area. And my good friend, Eric Hansen knows all about that. So please be a supporter of this channel by supporting our sponsors and click the link in the description below for Onyx Backcountry. So uh, you're back. Yeah, sorta, I guess. Yeah. On YouTube. Uh, not sorta. <laughs> And, uh, but you left YouTube for a while. I did. I did. You were gone for oh, like a year? Yeah. I, I think I did the uh, the inevitable I quit video uh, in, God, what was it? April 2022. Okay. And then I think that I kind of, well, it, maybe it wasn't even quite a year. I kind of started like throwing a couple things to kind of like, ooh, I'm kind of feeling creative. Maybe I'll throw something up on the channel. And then I think... April of this year, 2023, um, that is this year, uh, I, I put up like a, almost like a channel update of like, oh, hey, I'm still here. Hello. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. So you left and you quit YouTube back in April of 22. Yeah. Um, what was your, what, what, why did you do that? I think you, you surprised everybody. Yeah. It's, that's kind of a loaded like question. Like I remember maybe, going, uh, I remember sending like, did you see the latest Darwin video? Did you? <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, <laughs> it was shocking. He's done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I think that, um, at the time, I mean, it's kind of a loaded question, but also like a loaded answer at the time, a bunch of reasons. I was a little burnt out, um, from long distance hiking. Um, I was a little burnt out from YouTube videos in general. You know, you make so many of them. It's like what, at some point you kind of feel like, what else do I have to say about this? backpack or this shoe or the things that you kind of get known for right yeah um and then i also had i don't think a lot of people know this and when i say it i think sometimes people get it confused i've owned a media production company since 2019 which i had no idea yeah so hence the studio like this wasn't this isn't it was never set up for my youtube studio we used to do uh production work here client work um for various companies in the outdoor industry uh, fashion industry um tech industry, which I, I've shown you some of the stuff. Yep. Uh, so, you know, I was, I was doing that and had like multiple employees and totally different from YouTube, nothing to do with YouTube at all. No YouTube content, uh, producing a lot of content for other people. So I was really busy with that. I was chasing some like new creative pursuits and, and passions. And I was just like, you know what? I think I've given a lot to it. I wasn't feeling creative and I was tired of kind of, a uh, hitting a wall a little bit, feeling kind of, you know, showing up to start a YouTube video and kind of feeling drained or like I didn't really have it in me or yep. I was noticing that I was, uh, didn't have the spark and the passion like I used to when I was making them. Yeah. I was like reading comments, people like, are you okay? okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. And it's like, no, nah, I'm not okay. Like I'm not, 
not really good. And yeah, just a bunch of stuff. So I just decided to step away. And, you know, at the time I wasn't sure if I was going to come back and make videos anymore because I was like, well, if I, and even in, in that, I quit video, it was like, I quit sorta, I quit for now, but who knows, maybe if I have something to say or something to share in the future, I'll be back. Um, but you know, there has to be something in it for me, um, creatively, right? Like, were you, were you thinking like, I mean, really, were you, was there, was there a part, part of you that was like, yeah, I'm going to come back. I know I'm going to come back. Um, honestly, no, it was the opposite. The more like I might come back was more of kind of like a, a little like, oh, but shucks, I might come back. But really at that moment, I was like, no, no, this is probably it. So because you know, everything comes to an end. And I was just like, well, after doing the CDT, it's like I'm I'm kind of ready to be done with through hiking, long distance hiking, not backpacking and hiking specifically. Because actually, on the contrary, like I took all of 2022 and like I traveled all around to a bunch of different countries and hiked in different mountains and stuff like that. So I wasn't done with hiking and backpacking. Yeah, I was just done with through hiking, and the channel was always built on through hiking content. And through so hiking are you gear. done with through hiking? Um, <laughs> for now. For now, I, I'm, well, the long odysseys, right? Like the, the four to six month odysseys. Yeah, I'm done because it just, it, it's so, you know, after a while, it just kind of drains you, it beats you up. And some people do it forever. Some people like repeat the same trail over and over again. I never really had an interest in that. So I stopped, I stopped because of that, because I was just like, you know, I got to the end of the CDT and I'm like, you know what? I think I've had enough of this. I think that I've gotten everything I needed to get out of long distance hiking through hiking, especially in the States spending like, you know, seven years walking around the country. I was oh. like, well, I'm, I'm ready. I've not been to any other countries. I've been to like great Britain one time. That was the only time I'd ever been out of the country. So I'm like, I think I'm ready to visit places like Nepal and Ecuador and Fiji and like get in these other places and, and see more of the world. So yeah, man. Yeah. So when you left, okay, when you <clears throat> when you left YouTube, did you have uh, fallback from people? Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, I think a lot of people were kind of bummed out and upset because, um, you know, that you kind of become like the person for something, right? Like you're their gear person, or they're your. Um, a lot of people liked seeing me go on these hikes and vlog it and stuff, and. I did film all of the CDT, and when I got off the trail, I was slowly starting to put out some of those videos, and when I hit that wall and I was done, I was done, and I was, like, in the middle of putting those videos out, so it was, like, episode six, you know, I was only in Wyoming somewhere, so I just still had, like, more than half the trail to show, but I just didn't have the creative drive at the moment, and I was kind of so burnt out on it that I just stopped. So I think a lot of people got upset because I stopped making what they were looking forward to, right? Like they yeah. were, oh, I want to see the next one. Oh, I want to see the next one. Oh, I want to see the next one. So yeah, uh, people were bummed out for sure. But I mean, that being said, I had so many people say such nice things of just like, you know, thank you. Like, thanks for making videos for all this time and letting us come along on all these hikes and stuff like that. Because again, if you watch that video, it's kind of somber at the end of it. I'm like, yeah thank you guys for seven years. Like I love all of you and thanks for supporting me and watching me on my hikes and watching my goofy gear videos and me wave my hands around and move my eyebrows like a moron on camera. Like, <laughs> you know, like, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but you know, it, end, it ends somber. Like I, I show a bunch of clips from where I left off on my CDT videos all the way to the end. It's a real small, like little one minute thing, but I just show basically a ton of clips going all the way to the end of the trail. Um, so yeah, but people were beautiful about it and, and nice about it. And then you know, I got maybe some s sort of meaner people. <laughs> they're they're on YouTube. I know, weird, right? Mean people watch your videos. I, they call them trolls. Oh, I trolls. Troll. I wouldn't know. Trolls. I wouldn't know. Something like that. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> okay, so you you're taking what is that? A year and a half? Is that a year and a half? Yeah, I guess like to getting back to making regular, yeah, like regular Wait, when did content. you come back? Just... Technically, technically, I came back in April of this year, so it had only been a year since I put the I Quit video out. 
but I still hadn't really come back until about, I don't know, August okay. of like putting out like regular content. I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I'll put out a video every couple of weeks or every other week if I'm feeling inspired to do it. Like if I got something to say, if I got something to talk yeah. about. Yeah. So yeah. I, we first time I met you in person was at PCT days yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've obviously talked prior to that yeah. a bunch of times, but finally got to meet in person. And I uh, took a bunch of pictures with people at PCT days. Yeah. I put your picture with me and you is one of the pictures on yeah. Instagram. And then somebody was not very nice to you in the comment of that. <laughs> and I, and that was my first indication that there were people that were upset with you coming back. Yeah. Weird. Right. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that the weirdest thing? It's super weird. People were bummed. Like I was hoping you'd have an answer for oh, that. Oh man, no, no, no. When I when actually whenever I first started putting out videos, like people would leave comments um and say stuff like what would they say? You said you were leaving, so be gone. And I was just like, All right. Uh I said I was leaving. I'm back. Maybe you just shouldn't watch the video. <laughs> like yeah. if you if you really don't dig it. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe people people's feelings were hurt or I don't know. You know, it, it's kind of a weird, sometimes YouTube's a weird world and the whole uh, parasocial yeah. um, disorder of it all of like, you know, watching somebody and ingesting their content and feeling like you know them and then like they kind of let you down. So maybe I'll let people down. I don't know. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been doing? Well, I mean, in the time that you were gone, what <laughs> what's taken place? That's a loaded gun. Um, A lot. <laughs> a whole okay. lot. So you're saying when YouTube goes away, you get fr more free time to do stuff? Um, no, free time to do other things that give me no free time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, so I, I kept doing the production company and working on a bunch of stuff. Uh, shot a documentary film um, last year with Sawyer um, over in Fiji, which I know you did something very similar. Yep. Um, I worked on a bunch of client stuff. Um, I started a gear company. Uh, randomly it was because I had the desire to make another backpack I made a backpack years ago and I kind of had another backpack in me so I was like well I just kind of want to make a backpack for myself and then that rolled into the idea of like oh maybe I should give it a brand and then that rolled into oh that sun hoodie that I was trying to make for three years that I it was almost impossible to make maybe that'll be a product and then it kind of evolved into this into this gear company. You see what I did there? You see the wordplay I saw, I evolved? Heard, heard yeah, the you like that? Like yeah, that. Dude, yeah, yeah, on brand. That, that, um, <laughs> that was good. So, you know, I, I spent, I've spent eight years um, literally beating the crap out of my body and, and putting 14,000 miles on myself from through hikes and, and backpacking trips and world travel and bikepacking trips and all this stuff. I've used tons of gear obviously like you like being a gear geek right and yep. constantly using stuff and trying new stuff i've helped other companies develop stuff so it kind of got to the point of like okay well how can i at, at the time i was like well I, I don't feel creative with youtube videos right now but how can i still be creative in the thing that i love doing and i was like oh like a gear company that makes sense okay. i'll take those fourteen thousand miles and all the things that i've learned and stuff that I've liked and stuff that I haven't liked and what's worked for me and what wasn't, you know, what hasn't worked for me and basically create my own products out of it. Yeah. My own gear, put my spin on things. What, so I took a look at some of the stuff. Yeah. I, I we, so we, we went on a couple nighter backpacking. Yeah. Trip. Diverse. Me, yeah. Diverse. <laughs> he took me to the desert and he, and we were going to spend two nights in the desert. And he's like, you know, what's like out. I want to show you the, the, the winter too <laughs> and i'm like oh we get to see winter and desert cool yeah, so yeah, then yeah. we just jumped up to uh, yeah yeah that was crazy so we went from like desert like 45 degrees at night to winter 20 degrees at night and yeah snow. yeah it was pretty awesome it was yeah man i wanted yeah. to show you all that yeah, arizona it was, is it was cool and it was really interesting seeing you in a backpacking situation, <laughs> not a through hiking situation. Like night one was through hiking situation. It was like tarp shorts. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to the desert. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, you were wearing I'm, shorts. I literally felt like I was following this through hiker <laughs> and I'm like, Oh man. And we were on a long distance trail to begin with yeah, the we Arizona were, trail. Yeah. Yeah. But then night two, you're, you're wearing like hiking pants, pants. and pants. he started a fire pants, ladies and gentlemen. 
he started. He could say, "He's a you want to have a fire? You think you have a fire? Bro, when it's twenty degrees outside, damn sure would, I'm, yeah, I'm starting bro- a fire." Dude can light a fire. I'll just tell you that right now. He had that fire. I going. was a Boy Scout. He was a Boy Scout for <laughs> sure. I was like, wow, that's this is a good fire. Yeah. And I literally I collected some firewood, but then it was fun to just watch him keep going and collecting more firewood. I was very appreciative of that. So thank you. <laughs> You're like, welcome. I'll just sit back and let you do all the work. This is great. So okay, so you got this gear company. Yeah. Um, and did you ask me to come out here to talk about your gear company? I did not. You did not ask me to come no, out here. Not at we, all. We we just come out here. To Actually, hang out. the first night you're like can I can I talk and film a little bit about gear? And I was like, I don't know, man. Like I was a little standoffish, probably. Yeah, I I wasn't even. <laughs> I was like, weird. Like, should I ask him if I can talk about his gear? So this is not an ad. Well, it's no, and it's been weird for me because like being on the other side of it for so many years, and like you know dealing with other companies that reach out to me, they're like, hey, you want to talk about my stuff? Hey, you want to talk about my stuff? And me always kind of feeling that like, whenever we started doing it, I was like. I don't want to do that. Like, I want people yeah. to naturally like it. Now, you know, I've asked people, like, hey, you want to check out a backpack? But I don't want you to say anything about it. Just tell me what you think okay. from one guy yeah. to another. Tell I me totally what you appreciate think. that. Yeah. So, no, not at all. I was th- probably the opposite. Like, yeah, you were. It was, <laughs> you made me feel really awkward. So, thank you. <laughs> no problem, buddy. No. So, uh, yeah, well, I, I want to talk about some of the gear you made because okay. you, you were using it out there. Yeah, you yeah. were wearing your backpack. You were wearing your jacket. Yeah. You had your this cook pot that I thought was, like, super cool. Yeah. And our sun hoodie. Uh, yeah, you were wearing the sun hoodie. I don't know. You're, At some point, it's all going to be mine. It's all going to be yours. You had this, like, <laughs> cool, like, water bottle pouch thing that you were yeah, yeah. wearing and stuff like that. So how are you – like, I, I, I was blown away because – I didn't know any of this was going on. I, I had heard you started a gear company, or I thought maybe it was just like you made your own backpack or something. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, well, that's cool. You know, cool. He's done with YouTube. He's going to go do the gear thing. I thought maybe that was really why you left YouTube, because oh, no. it would be weird to be the gear guy that talks about gear, but then you've got your own gear company. Like, yeah. how is that? So part of my mind, my mind was thinking, like, maybe that's why you left. No, you know, no, that came it. after. That was because I was just like, okay, well, I want to. Again, I want to do something new creatively that still involves the thing that I love, which is hiking, backpacking, gear, stuff like that. So, so who's no. your who? Like when you think of the the backpack that you're making and all and all the gear that you're making, who who's the who's the person that you're handing this stuff to? Who's the target person? Me, number one. <laughs> okay, because you know it, it all comes from like scratching your own itch, right? It's like why I've always wanted to to make my own stuff and design my own stuff is always like. Well, I like this backpack, but mm, man, I wish it had this, this, this. That would be the perfect backpack for me. That would be the perfect jacket for me. That would be the perfect hiking top for me. Yeah. So that's always where it has to come from. It always has to come from like scratching your own edge. And again, after 14,000 miles of using tons of other people's stuff, I want to start using my stuff. Like, what are my ideas? How can I improve on this? Is that halfway around the planet? Fourteen thousand miles. Okay, somebody, somebody, comment below and tell me if fourteen thousand miles <laughs> is halfway around the planet. And that's not to brag either. That's. That's that's he, not to brag. I'm bragging. bragging. I'm bragging. He's bragging. No, maybe, he's not maybe, a bit, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's nothing to be proud of. Whenever like you, you have. You, it's something to be proud of, folks. <laughs> whenever like you're you're 38 years old, but like your knees feel like you're 72. <laughs> Bro, I'm 45 and my knees feel like I'm like 90. So I'm right there with you. Yeah, it's nothing to brag about. Whenever I like have to like hobble out of the bed in the morning and yeah. stuff like that. Um. But no, I mean, it, for me, number one, right, I got to scratch my own itch and like, what would I use? So like when I d- designed a new backpack, it was like, well, when I was on the CDT, I was using an old pack that I designed a long time ago. And I remember being on the CDT and being like, oh, like now I wish that it had this and I wish that it had this. And so that that came out of like, well, if I was ever going to go through hike the CDT again, what would be my perfect pack? Like, yeah. what would be the thing that I would want? Yeah. And that's where that pack came out. So, again, yeah. it was scratching my own edge. And then it was okay. like, oh, well, let's see if other people like this or want this. Yeah. So, that's kind of how it started. Okay. Same with so, the, the backpack hoodie. was the first product? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Technically, the sun hoodie was the first product. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it came after because that, again, came from the scratching my own edge. Like, okay. I wanted – there was – I used, like, button-down shirts for years. I used sun hoodies for years. And there was some specific things that I really wanted out of a hiking top. What made a perfect hiking top for me? What I was the most comfortable in? What kept me cool? Um, whatever. So it was like, 
anything that I've done, it's just like, I want it for me yep. first. And then it's like, oh, does anybody else want this kind of thing? So uh, going back to sort of the question I asked you earlier yeah. about why I thought you left YouTube. Yeah. Now that you're coming back to YouTube, how do you find it? How, how, how is this going to work for you being the gear guy <laughs> Yeah. talking about gear but you're talking about your own you're, are you how does that have you thought that through no. you know what i mean no because i just try to be like honest and as like you know genuine as possible no matter what i'm talking about so it's like i'm not beholden to using anybody's stuff like i'm not sponsored by any gear companies right so it's like well no i'll use you know i, I still obviously like i'm not gonna make you know i'm not gonna make shoes i'm not gonna make a water filter. You know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. not going to do that. So it's like, well, I'm going to use what I want to use, and regardless of what it is, whether I do it or whether somebody else does it. But also, like, I don't know. Does that – I don't know if that really affects anything. It's still the thing that I'm going to use. So it's No, like, I don't think it's going to affect anything. No, I, I'm just curious no. what, what your thought process was on that. Because I think some, no. some people – are some people thinking, like – and maybe you are, and I would think this would be a I, – I would – I certainly would do this if, if I was in your shoes – but some people are probably thinking, well, he's coming back to YouTube just to talk about his own products. No, I'm going back to YouTube because for like the first time in eight years, I'm actually like geeking. And that's the thing. The funny thing about gear is like, I want to talk about like mountaineering gear. Yeah. I yeah, want to tell, talk tell about. Tell us about that. He's telling me he wants to do <laughs> mountaineering. So that's one like, of the main reasons what? I started making media again was because I was like, again, for the first time in eight years, you talk about the same stuff so many times. You get burnt out on it. And it's like. You know, uh, sleeping pads. I'll give you a perfect example of sleeping pads. It's like I have used the same sleeping pad for almost eight years. It's actually right here. This is the same sleeping pad I used on the PCT. This is the same sleeping pad I yeah, used before I don't that. Like, I, don't, I don't like that sleeping Look at that. Pad. Look, it's got like mold in it, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> is that the X-Lite? Yeah, it's yeah. an old X-Lite. Nice and crunchy and crinkly. Um, but, you know, it's like... For the first time in a long time, it's like a lot of the new stuff that I'm diving into. Pants. I haven't hiked in pants and like it was really interesting <laughs> to see. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like it was a, you were literally a different person than I've ever seen. Like, Is it just last because night. you couldn't see my legs? No. Well, yeah, that. But like I felt like you all it was it was weird. I really was thinking this. I was thinking like, this dude just let loose. Like <laughs> He's be he's like he put on pants and started a fight. Yeah, man, he like let he's like full on backpacker. Cause like okay, tell you you I thought you had a pretty decent definition between the difference between a through hiker and a backpacker. Yeah, yeah. What what tell me what your what's a through hiker and what's a backpacker? Because last night you were a backpacker. I was a backpacker dude, for real. <laughs> well, it's I've always I've always liked to sum it up as like it's a massive difference. Through hikers backpack, but backpackers don't through hike, right? And the difference is when you when you backpack, the whole point of backpacking or just going out for a hike is like, I I want to go out and I want to enjoy where I'm at. It's yep. all about like I'm gonna hike three miles in, five miles in, whatever it is, and I'm gonna set up camp and I'm gonna make a fire and I'm gonna enjoy the stars. I'm gonna have a conversation with somebody. It's about getting out, right? Yep. Through hiking is about getting from point A to point b it's kind of like if you're into running you go do a 5k fun run because you're hanging out with friends and you're going to run around the block and we it's a good time if you run a marathon or an ultra marathon it's about the challenge can i do this thing so a through hike is very much can i do this thing can i hike from mexico to canada can i hike from you know georgia to maine can i can i do this can i physically mentally can I stand to do this? It yeah. is a challenge. And for people that love hiking because of the adventure um, and, and, the, and the, the solitude and stuff like that, they would hate through hiking yeah. because at some point the adventure goes away, right? Like the adventure's there for like the first 500 miles, but like anything, it becomes mundane. And it's like, oh, well, you're doing the same thing, you know, hiking 20, 30 miles a day or eating the same food every day and this is months on end so in some point it becomes a about the challenge of getting from here to there so backpacking is more about i want to go out i want to relax i want to have an experience like just for this weekend or with friends or see something new through hiking is about 
I'm going to go out and I'm going to challenge myself to get from here. That's not to say it's not a journey and an adventure because it very much is. And a lot of adventure comes from a journey. It's just a different type. It's type two fun, right? Like it's, That's for sure. and it's type two fun, not just for a weekend. And then you get in your car and go home and take a shower and eat a burger. It's type two fun for four to six months of like literally making, you know, beating the hell out of yourself for four to six months, which is pretty tough. So it is about, it's more, I, at least in, I've always thought through hiking is more about the challenge and there's an amazing adventure and an awesome experience that comes from that. It's just different than backpacking. It just always has been, always has been. So, so. so what are you now? I'm me. <laughs> I'm whatever. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a backpacker. I'm a hiker. I'm a, uh, an alpinist. Are you an X through hiker? Alpinist. Oh, I'm you're not an X through hiker. Okay. I'm, I'll always be a through hacker, right? Okay. Like, that's what I spent seven years, yeah. eight years doing. Um, I have the, triple crown uh, yeah. whatever that means anymore um that, that, that's pretty incredible it is it, it is and, and it's it's nice to have that you know i kind of denied that for a long time i was like ah, it doesn't mean anything but you know when i look back at it like i it's an accomplishment I gave a lot dude. of my life that's that is that, a right? yeah. huge accomplishment yeah, thanks i i don't even i don't i don't even have like the the burger king crown like <laughs> i just literally don't even have one of those so that's yeah. pretty awesome. Dude. Yeah, man. So I don't know. It, it's, I think it, regardless, like I just love being, I, I love being on trail. I love being out. I love being in the mountains. I think more than anything, I love being in the mountains. And it's something that's taken me a long time to kind of honestly discover. Cause I was like, well, what am I into through hiking for? Am I into it because of the views? Am I into it because of being out there, the adventure, the people, the whatever it is. A lot of it was people and community for me for yep. years. Um, but, like, why mountaineering has really hooked me hard is because, like, I really love being in the mountains and being at places where nobody else is, and like, on a glacier, like, you know, 18,000 feet, you know, above sea level and seeing stuff that a lot of people don't get to see and really taking the beauty of that. Yeah. So... Yeah, man, whatever I can do to, like, be out there and, and be in the mountains. Yeah, you won't see me there. No? <laughs> no. I'll get you out on it. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you out on it. I'm oh, telling man. you. I said the same thing to Eric Hansen. Like, you'll never get me to bag a peak. And then he forced me see? to bag a peak. Yeah, I'll get you to go to Nepal with me and climb, a like, a 20,000-foot <sighs> oh, peak. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh. It's fun, man. And, you know, like, I think that why I... Wait, just comment below if you'd want to see <laughs> me and Darwin on a 20,000-foot peak. Say no. In Nepal. <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> vote yes. Um, <laughs> vote yes to see Dan yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that, uh, you know, it's – I've always loved – I think why I fell in love with through hiking is because it got me out of my comfort zone. I mean, it's why I fell in love with backpacking. I think it's why a lot of people fall in love with backpacking. It's different from your 9 to 5. Yeah, for sure. It's different from your mundane. It's why you – you plan all week to get out on a weekend backpacking trip, and it's why it means so much. Same with the through hike. Like you spend all this time planning for a through hike, and then you get off of it, and you're really going through like post trail depression and stuff, because because it it got you out of your comfort zone, and it made you realize new things about yourself, and it scared you, and it you know it made you hungry, it made you wet, it made you cold. Like those are the things to me, anyways. Like when I get myself out of my comfort zone when I do something that I don't 100% know what I'm doing, it humbles me to the bone. And that's, I think for me, whether it was through hiking, whether it was originally getting into backpacking, bikepacking, um, being creative and doing something like a YouTube video, any of that, it's about humbling me. Yeah. It's, it's really, because I think that, yeah, because I think a lot of us kind of like know, think we know who we are, we go through life and like we, we get comfortable in our own skin and, and, you know, we think that we know what we're doing. And then like when you do something like for me right now, mountaineering, being up at 20,000 feet or, you know, 15,000 feet or whatever it is. And like being attached to the side of a rock and like looking over and just seeing like the end of the earth. And it literally terrifies me. Like, cause I'm, I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of heights. So it literally scares me. But in that moment, 
when I realize it, I feel alive and it's humbling. Like that humbles me and being like, oh, I don't know. I, I, I thought that I, I knew who I was and, and what this meant and I was comfortable. And yeah, hum, I think being humble is a big thing to me, a real big thing to me. I think it, when you're humbled, it allows you to get a different perspective on life. It, it lets you re-look at your own life, re-look at um, life outside of there. I mean, you you went you did a trip with Sawyer, right? And, and you yes, went and you two, went somewhere two trips else. With Sawyer, yeah, yeah. So I think that it probably left an impact on you, seeing how other massive, people live. Massive, and it because it humbled you. Yeah. It it made you realize like what you take for granted, and it makes you realize, um, you know what's important in life and what's not important in life. And I think that's the most beautiful thing like people can do for themselves is like put yourself in a situation, learn something about a new culture or uh, just a person down the street. And like, I just think that that humbles you and makes you grow as a person and just kind of changes your outlook on life. So what, what's going to happen to the YouTube channel then? Are you going to do mountaineering? Um, no, I'll probably talk about mountaineering. You know, I, I think I made a video recently where I was like, uh, I want to start talking about winter backpacking and specifically uh, classic backpacking, traditional backpacking, uh, wearing pants and, you know, being in it, right? Because, like, I, I need those skills. I need to get back to those roots of how I started in all of this because that's a part of mountaineering, right? Like, I want to climb to a peak yeah. and scare the hell out of myself. But in order to do that, I need to trek to base camp, right? I need to get to these places. I need heavier duty gear, stuff like that. So for me, it's like, the really the thing that really excites me is the new thing I know nothing about. But the cool thing about that is I get to dive back into the humble beginnings of like I'm a backpacker and I'm figuring it all out for the first time. And like, what freestanding tent's gonna be the best? Like, what jacket's gonna keep me the warmest? What pants are like? You know what I mean? So, yeah. for me, I know it's, a YouTube channel you can watch. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me more. <laughs> um, you know, for me, it's like it's exciting again. And that's why I came back to making videos because when I thought about like, you know, cause I was already doing it. I was like buying, you know, boots and I was buying pants and I was buying all this stuff just like I did way back whenever I was first getting into it and doing, I was in the research stage and learning this new thing. And I was like, Oh my God, I feel like I did back when I first got into backpacking and then first got into through hiking. And that's where my channel started because it was like I was kind of discovering who I was and what I like to do, and I wanted to share that with other people. So I was like, oh, my God, this is the perfect time. Like, I've come to the end of this. Like, I don't feel creative, and I don't want to do anything, and I don't want to share anything because I had all these new things to be creative about and share with people. So, yeah, man, that's that's why I'm doing it again. It's, it's just fun. It's fun to do it again. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like, he's, he's here to sell his products. Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm here to talk about – the things I'm excited about, whether it's the thing I'm making or the thing I'm doing or the thing that I'm testing and trying out and doing research on again. Well, I, I wouldn't be upset if you were trying to sell your product because I think that would be smart, to be honest with you. Sorry, I just do. <laughs> as a YouTuber and as a YouTube channel, like, sure, but you've got an audience. You're yeah. like, why, why wouldn't I? But yeah. matter of fact, let's sell your product right now because there was <laughs> – <clears throat> he did not ask me to do this at all. I, 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 I was – the cook pot? Mm -hmm. It's super cool. Oh, thanks, man. You designed it, right? Well, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like I told you. It's like you can only like reinvent the wheel so many times. Like you're not going to reinvent the cook pot. Yeah, but, but I've never seen it. No, cook but for pot me, like it was that. more of that scratch your own itch. It was like, oh, well, I love my cook pot that I've used for years. Um, and here, even though I got my own, I'll plug it. Snow Peak 700, Snow Peak Titanium 700 mug. Used it for years, right? But now that I'm doing winter camping wearing things like thicker gloves like i wanted little features on a pot that i was looking across the board trying to think of buying a new pot and i was like well i don't see that anywhere and then now having like access to being like oh wait a minute i could probably find somebody to make that for me yeah so again like that cook pot is scratching my own itch of being yeah. like i want something like you know a bale and a pour spout and a little wooden handle the wooden handle was like that was <laughs> that was literally the first thing i noticed was that wooden handle i was like yeah. oh dude that's cool yeah, and that comes from literally, like, one, burning my fingers all the time when I try to grab something off the top of a, a cook pot on a stove. But two, like, I'm wearing thicker gloves when I'm mountaineering and out in winter camping and, like, grabbing that little bitty, like, fold-over thing 
is a total pain if it's cold outside Yeah, because you're wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, again, all that stuff just comes from scratching your own edge. It's just like, oh, I want that for me. Then I'm like, well, I think this is pretty cool. And then everybody I show it to is like, that's pretty cool. And I'm like, well, you want one too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah. I, if, yeah. if you make a, a one liter version, you should put holes in the top of it so you can strain stuff. Just throwing that out there. Ooh. You're welcome. Upgrade. You're welcome. Upgrade. You're welcome. Upgrade. I like yeah. that. 10%. That's I like all that. I accept. 10%. That's, 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 that's not 10%. bad. I'll take maybe. That's maybe a 15. way better deal than I got from a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've had some side conversations. <laughs> oh, there it is, folks. What's he talking about? <laughs> I, was, I was told. I was told by a buddy that's called vague booking. Yeah. Do you know that term? No. Look it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Emmett's gonna put it on. That, screen. that was an. In- I already know Emmett's putting. That it was on an screen. inside joke within an inside joke, right there. That's so funny. Yeah. So uh, the backpack. It's yeah. a forty liter pack. Yep. Right. Yep. And uh, you've been designing backpacks for a long time, though. So this is like a, 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 an evolution, right, <laughs> uh, of your of, <laughs> of your backpack yeah. into what it is now that you were wearing yesterday. I mean, I have not touched this backpack. I, I've seen it. I've watched him wear yeah. it. I know nothing. I have no experience with it at all. It looked pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Um, Thank you. I, I love the vintage look of your stuff. Yeah. I, I did notice. It was intentional. Yeah, we, I found that out later, like tonight when we were touring the. the I like things that are old, old wood walls. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, it's, old, yeah. And uh, he's got that little. It's a brass buckle on the top. It's actually it's it's like a aircraft aluminum. It's just it, it's made to look like old hammered brass. Yeah, like, it's super cool. It yeah. reminded me of like a like a messenger bag kind of look almost. Yeah, yeah to yeah. a degree. Like yeah, it's just little things, you know, little things. I I I I've always got like a. I got kind of a, a little bit of an old soul, and like when I think about when I think about backpack, when I think about the outdoors, I'm a big time national park and national forest geek. Um, if you hang around here, you'll see like a ton of like uh, Smokey the Bear stuff. I, I just love old classic Americana outdoor stuff. Like I'm kind of romantic for it, like yeah. the outdoors the way they used to be kind of thing. So yeah, so when we started the company, I really wanted to put that into the brand of just like, Oh, what do I think about when I think about like a classic backpack? It's why we call it our yeah. backpack, the Ranger. Do you well, plug your website? What do you have a website? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, evolved supply co.com evolved. Cause it's not evolve. <laughs> I have evolved supply co.com. Yeah. Okay. Emmett, make sure you spell that correctly. Yeah. When you yeah. put that on screen, yeah, spell it, spell it. Don't yeah. mess it up, man. Yeah. That's cool. I, and, but you're still doing, are you still doing production work for people? No, I've kind of take a bit of I've, I've taken a bit of a break. Um, yeah, I, I took a bit of a break because again, that kind of like I kind of hit a little bit of a creative wall with that. Um, and I don't know. Again, I'm just right now. I am really like I hate to keep using the term, but scratching my own itch. It's like it's fun to do work for other people, um, and I I still do it here and there, but like full time anymore. Yeah. I just decided yeah. to kind of take a break from it because it's a lot of work. And, you know, right now I'm so hooked back into backpacking, mountaineering, climbing that I'm just like, oh, like I kind of want to, if, if I'm going to make, if I'm going to produce content, like do I want to produce content for somebody else right now or do I want to do it for me again and share the things that I like and that I want to do? So that I chose that. Um, yeah, it just sounded fun. I don't know. I'm all over the place. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> also, I mean, I for real, last night it was, that was a Darwin I'd never seen. It was like it you was saw pretty, Nick. What's that? So you saw Nick. I did. Yeah, you, you saw pre Darwin. Yeah. You saw pre Darwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. that. That was that was the that was so if, Nick so before coming. The, his Darwin. name is Nick. My name is you, Nick. Yeah. If you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that yeah that was Nicholas Wayne Rakestraw. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, you boy. just got the full oh, arm. Boy. I was about to say the third, but that's not the true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. it was it was fun to see that because I felt. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, it was it was just interesting to see you in that environment. We only hiked in what like maybe six miles last night. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Maybe. Yeah. And uh, I had to help him up the hill. Yeah. He was was struggling. struggling. I was struggling. Uh, no, actually, that's what happens when you use one trekking pole. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, no, but we get up there, man. It was just fun to see you in that environment. You were um glowing. I feel like like with like you were you looked like you 
wanted to be out there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that was yeah, that was super cool yeah, to see. So absolutely. that's that's fun to have that excitement back, I think. Yeah, so. man. Yeah, it's 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 fun. You know, it's again, I started the channel because like I was excited about the things I was doing. I just gotten off the AT. I, I wanted to share those experiences with people because it's something that like excited me and I, and I loved it. So I wanted to hopefully inspire and share that with other people. And then, you know, over the years you get used to it and it becomes mundane yeah. to a point you get kind of burned out on it. And so now I'm back in that world of like, like Oh man, this is fun. We <laughs> like, I get to, you know, I yeah. get to like play with climbing gear and I get to play mm -hmm. with boots and, Again, like I can't emphasize enough pants. Yeah. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to figure out what's the perfect pants. Like that's fun. So, you know, uh, it, yeah, it's just fun again. It's exciting again and it's fun. And uh, it, it's, it's been interesting to get back into it. And now like the whole, I feel like the landscape's kind of changed a little bit. So yeah. like trying to re-navigate like, yeah. oh, like what do people want to see? What do I want to make? But it is also very much, um, Again, scratching my own itch. Like, yeah, what am sure. I excited to make? That's what I'm gonna make. So, what can we expect from you? Are you gonna be doing a video a week? Are you gonna do the? Are you gonna do the Tuesday Q and As? Are you? That probably, uh, I that, mean, that probably won't come back. You don't think so? All right, okay. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Man, I did like 38 of those. <laughs> Actually, I think it got more than. I think it got into the 40s. Oh wow. There's a lot of them. Yeah, and yeah. that was a streak. I went on for a long yeah. time doing those, and they're fun. They're easy to do, but. I think I, I stopped doing those like when it was just always the same question. Always. Like it just ended up being the same question over and over again. I was like, I think I would even answer like, I would answer the question and be like, you should go back and watch some of the past Q&As because I've answered this question like four times. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, some gear videos for sure. Um, I've been doing a bunch lately because again, I'm in that research stage, right? I'm trying out new tents. I'm trying out uh new clothes i'm trying out new cook systems uh like a stove like i just switched to a new stove for the first time in eight years yeah um something i never thought you know because you, you're like this is the stove that i use and i'll never use anything different as a through hacker you you get used to what you're using and then like you know it works you know you can put thousands of miles on it and it's probably not going to fail you so that's what you end up sticking with it's not because you don't want to try new stuff but it's just like oh well i know that if i got to go out and hike a couple thousand miles this thing will last because it's yeah. proven itself before mm -hmm. so you throw it back in the bag yeah um but now like getting into this completely new thing where i'm almost learning all of these new skills again applying stuff from the past but learning a bunch of new stuff it's like oh well it's time to play again it's time to it's time to do research again like are, what do are i you, need what am i using uh researching tents that are like backpacking style tents or mountaineering style tents or a little bit of both. Cause right now, like I really, oh, that's another thing. I typically have always hated snow. I am like known for not liking hiking in the snow. I've had bad experience in the snow in the past, mainly cause it was on through hikes and yeah. it was like a necessity, not cause yeah. I wanted to, um, but I live in Flagstaff, Arizona and most people don't know this. Most people don't know this. Um, Flagstaff is actually one of the snowiest, uh, cities in the country. I did not know that. Right? Wild. Most people think Arizona. Yeah. Actually, I, I said something about winter backpacking in a video, and somebody commented, uh, says says he's going to get into winter backpacking, <laughs> lives in Arizona. And I'm like, <laughs> you should probably do your research. Yeah. I live at 7,000 feet. There's a lot of snow here in the winter. Um, you know, last year we got like 150, 140 inches of snow, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I experienced some of it in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. We get a lot of snow here. Um, 10 feet of it. So I've always kind of like shied away from that. So I've been really wanting to get, embrace it. I'm not a skier or a snowboarder. So I'm like, well, how can I embrace the winter and get out in the back country and like be in these places where, yeah. especially during the winter, like nobody's at. Yeah. Because nobody wants to go, Yeah. you know, battle the cold. Um, yeah. So yeah, so getting into that um, and sharing a lot about that. So the tent thing is I want something that's going to hold up for mountaineering, but I also want something that is going to be good in like just regular winter backpacking, taking it out on like like what we did last night. Yeah. Like that tent worked out pretty well. Um, would I take it mountaineering? That was a Probably really not. cool looking tent. Interesting, right? It, but you said it's, you said my tent's going to look like a spaceship. <laughs> it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. I'm going to be putting out a video soon on, okay. on those tents, so. We won't spoil it here. No, we no. won't. Go over to my channel and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know when this is Emmett coming out. Put his channel on the screen. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, yeah. So, yeah, man. I don't know. It's just it's fun to do stuff again, and it's fun to like collaborate and do stuff with people again that aren't 
through hikers and aren't in that world, but are just, you know, general yeah. kind of into what I'm into right now. So Yeah, well, we should go on a couple trips. That's what we need to do. Yeah, man. Yeah, you we need should. to come out here. Yeah. And one, we should go, oh, you should do like uh, Dan Becker returns to the Grand Canyon. I would love to do that. Right? I would really like to do yeah, that. And I've said that many times. I will... And let's I'd not. Lo- I'm do not it. gonna let it beat me. Let's not do it in a record snow year. Nope. <laughs> going to the North Rim of the canyon. No. Like let me take you out happen. on like the Tonto Trail or something. Yeah. And like really experience the yeah. canyon. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, we should. And then I could teach stuff. you how to backpack. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Teach me more about these yeah, little yeah, gadgets, yeah. these Dude. these the, pocket bellows, and these. Yeah, uh, yeah. What was that little thing called? The the little the pump? Oh, uh, the uh, Flextail Zero pump. The flex out, oh, dude. I'll never carry one of those. Oh, you will. You will. I'll get you. I'll carry always. One. I'll always inflate with my it, lungs did, of did steel. You hear it? Did you hear it? <laughs> did you hear it buzzing off in the distance? And were you were you, were you going? <sighs> I did. Well, I couldn't figure. I thought it was a helicopter going. <laughs> <laughs> I, never. I was like, what in the hell? Um, yeah. Or you know, like it's chairs. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hard to convince no, me to it, not use I joke that's about me teaching him. He taught me everything I knew about backpacking before <laughs> I even did YouTube. I watched his videos for like two years straight or something like that. So, yeah, no. But, uh, well, dude, I, for one, I'm glad to have you back. Yeah, man. I think a lot of people are going to be glad for to have you me. back. Th- thanks for having me. I'm in your studio. <laughs> yeah. So we, I hell? crashed his place. <laughs> so, yeah, no. And um, I think, uh, I think, the 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 um, community is going to be better off having you around. Oh, your, thanks, all your man. experience, everything that you're doing, and this gear company. I really hope it takes off for you because the stuff oh. I saw, I I haven't touched it before. What I've seen and thanks, knowing, thank you, knowing what you have talked about over the years that you've been on YouTube, as far as like you know, just knowing gear and testing gear and all that stuff. I got to imagine that he's put a lot of work into his. Uh, gear so i try yeah i would certainly at least go check out the website and uh thanks man i appreciate yeah, and, it and and if you if you buy me a cook pot anybody out there that would be well appreciated because they're super cool looking actually i'll probably buy one <laughs> they're super cool looking but uh yeah man cool thanks dude so, thanks for coming out and, and hanging out it's, yeah it's been fun i appreciate it so yeah. yeah go check out darwin on the trail he is back and Better than ever. I don't know about that. And I don't know uh, about better than ever. yeah, he's a he's a backpacker. <laughs> he's a backpacker. I've always been a backpacker. He's always been a backpacker. I'm just yeah. getting back to my roots. <laughs> yeah. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And as always, I will see you on the next one.